Thank you for purchasing your RotoSweep from the Fuller Brush Company. Here's a few tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of your RotoSweep. The RotoSweep is a hard floor sweeper, so it works on hardwood, linoleum, tile, any hard floor surface. It's like having a broom and a dustpan all in one. One of the biggest tips with RotoSweep is to keep moving it in one direction. It only works rolling forward, but as it rolls forward, those triple rotating brushes channel and lift the dirt on any hard floor surface right into that dustpan. As it rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. But it only works in one direction, so you want, always want to push it moving forward. What's great about it, though, are the rotating brushes that get right along the edges of your floorboards. Uh, along your floorboards, along cabinets, along uh, baseboards in the kitchen, it pulls the dirt and debris out from the wall. To empty your roto sweep, all you do is lift the trap door on the back of the unit and everything goes right into your trash can. After a lot of heavy use, you may need to clean your roto sweep, and here's an easy way to do that. If it gets clogged up with a lot of hair or maybe from a lot of that dirty gunk on your kitchen floor, here's an easy way to take it apart to maintain it. There's a screw in the center of each one of the rotating brushes on the outside. Simply use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screw and the cap pull this brush off and set that aside. Now, do the exact same thing on the other side. Gently remove the screw in this using a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver. Save these screws, don't, don't, uh, they're small pieces, so you wanna keep those in a safe place. Any d dirt and debris on these wheel uh, brushes, you can, bristles, you can easily pull off by hand. But this rotating brush with the wheels that roll across your floor are what makes this unit work. So by keeping this clean, help your roto sweep last a lot longer. You can reach inside, slide this whole brush unit right out of there. Take this to your sink, rinse it in warm water with a little dish soap. It'll clean up these rubber wheels, these non-marring wheels, so they'll grip the floor and rotate those brushes as it rolls across the floor. Reassemble it the exact opposite way that you took it apart. Slide it back down inside. Lock that, uh, that center rotating brush into place and then replace the, ro the, uh, the wheel brushes on the outside. Using this, this uh, little cap to hold the screw in place, use your screwdriver, but do not over tighten these screws. You want to get it down in there so it's snug, but you don't want to over tighten it and strip it out. Again, the same thing on the other side, line up the spokes on the rotating brush on the outside with this wheel on the center brush, and then replace that center screw. That's what's gonna hold it all together. And with, the, with this little maintenance tip, it'll keep your roto sweep working better, lasting longer, and it will make, it'll keep it doing a great job for years to come.